My name is Matthew Marshall, and I'm the director, producer, and writer of the independent Christian drama, Daughter of the King. Daughter of the King is about Ashley, a young woman trying to move on with her life and get past the mistakes she's made of drug addiction and trafficking of drugs. As she tries to move forward in her life, she's still haunted by the past mistakes she's made and the outstanding debt that she still has. Due to her inability to pay her debt, it's not long before she's sucked back into the lifestyle of drug addiction and going down a path she doesn't want to. She is soon has to work for Hadar, the person that uh, she owes money to, and she has to become a debt slave and a prostitute. And she is belittled, degraded, and totally loses all her self-esteem due to the way that she's treated. Ashley's life takes a number of dramatic twists and turns during the story as she goes on this journey down a path she didn't want to go. Ashley's friend Nadia, uh, who's a Christian, tries to help her out of this dark path that she's taken and Ashley battles to try to find peace and, and grace in her life to be forgiven for the things that she's done in the past. The goal of the production is to shine a light on human trafficking and to show people that no matter what you've done in your past, you can move past it and that there is freedom by grace and that also that no matter what you've done, you are still precious and valuable. Human trafficking is the illegal trade of human beings for the purpose of sexual exploitation, forced labor, or modern day slavery. There's more slaves now, there's 30 million slaves now, which is more than there's ever been in the history of the world. It is one of the cruelest forms of modern day slavery, and it's also the most fastest growing. Uh, right after drug dealing, human trafficking is the second largest uh, crime industry in the world, if you can call it that. The global sex slave market uh, makes a profit of over $39 billion a year. And the average human trafficking victim is forced to have sex 20 to 40 times a day. Debt slave or debt bondage means that a person is indebted to another and that basically being a debt slave or in debt bondage means that you lose all personal freedoms, all rights, uh, you can't own any property, you basically have nothing and you're, you're treated to the, by your master, so to speak, if you call it a master, you're treated to, by the master that uh, you're belittled, dehumanized. Uh, people that are debt slaves often feel like they're worthless and that they have nothing. The end goal is to strip a sex slave of, of everything uh, so that they are totally submissive and obedient. And that's all done because of money. It's all pushed by the, the fact of the almighty dollar and that if a slave is disobedient or steps out of line, then threats are made to parents or personal harm to themselves or to family or friends. So it really, the whole perspective is to, to get the slaves to be obedient and to be submissive so that the master can basically make money off of it. Most of those that find themselves uh, being trafficked or human trafficked, uh, this is what they are as a debt slave. United Nations has declared that human trafficking is the utmost form of modern day slavery and it's prohibited by law in every country. It's come a time where we need to stand up, open our eyes and rise up against the issue of human trafficking and debt slave. And the heart of human trafficking and, and the debt slave industry is really done by desire. It's, it's basically men that are, are driving the industry and if the demand was not there, then there would be no industry. So especially me as a male, uh, I feel it's time that, uh, that we need to speak out and value our women and that if, if people didn't have the desire to seek out prostitutes, then, uh, then the industry would dry up. As a Christian, if you have any sense for justice for the poor or justice for the marginal, you need to stand up and speak out uh, and prevent this issue. Daughter of the King deals with Ashley being a debt slave and all around her are other women that uh, have, are in Hadar's organization for various reasons. Some uh, have been thrown out of their home, some of them are lost, uh, some of them are coming from abuse themselves. So all around Ashley is all these women and that's what Hadar preys on. Hadar entraps them in his web like a spider does for its prey and, and that's what Hadar is really doing. He's preying on these women that are from the streets, might have drug addictions, been kicked out of their home, um, maybe running away from other abuse and that's basically what traffickers are doing. They prey on the weak and they use them and exploit them for their financial benefit. Daughter of the King really is about shining a light in the darkness, to, to cast a light on 
those things that live in the shadows and, and to show people that, that feel that they don't have any value or that they're worthless or they're not important, that they are important. And, and this, is, this is all about grace and love and forgiveness. The gospel engages us and redeems us for the brokenness that we feel as human beings. We can't out -sin the grace of God and we need to know that, that through grace we can be redeemed and we can find freedom that um, we are welcomed back into to God's loving family, that we can come back from our wayward paths and, and be one of his children, to be the sons and daughters of the King of Kings. Daughter of the King is about finding hope where there is no hope. It's about grace and love and faith and forgiveness in amongst terrible events. And that is what Ashley's story is all about.